Today are among the oldest mountains on the continent, born before the age of the dinosaurs. Their geologic and climatic destiny unfolding over millions of years, producing a diversity of species unequaled in the temperate regions of the world. In these mountains are more varieties of trees than are found on the entire continent of Europe, some the largest and oldest of their species. There are plants and animals here that are found no place else on Earth. This is the front porch of Southern Appalachian mountain history, where remnants of a culture remain bound to the land and alive in the imagination. This is Great Smoky Mountains National Park. thousand years ago when the Cherokee people arrived, they looked into the mists and wondered about these mountains, imagining the story of their creation. The great buzzard flew all over the earth. When he reached the Cherokee country, he was very tired, and his wings began to flap and strike the ground. And wherever they struck the earth, there was a valley. And where they turned up again, there was a mountain. rocks in these mountains reveal their own story. One that began two to three hundred million years ago with a massive collision of continents and now Africa and North America. Over millions of years the earth buckled and reached skyward and from Quebec to Alabama the land gave way leaving behind the Appalachian chain that includes the Great Smoky Mountains. But no sooner were they born than they began to wear away. It's sculpted over millions of years by the forces of nature, wind, water, fracturing and settling. Creating soft, gentle curves that speak the passage of time. Life took hold early in the Smokies, first thriving in the warm, moist lower elevations. But it would take another cataclysmic event to create the the tremendous diversity of species that has made this an environment unlike any in the world. The last ice age. More than 10,000 years ago, an immense sheet of ice pushed down from the north, stopping short of the Smokies. Over several thousand years, plants and animals migrated south to escape freezing temperatures. In the highest elevations of the Smokies, they flourished within a perfect climate, with temperatures comparable to Canada's Nova Scotia today. It meant that northern species like the eastern hemlock inhabited the park's middle and upper elevations while species like the flowering dogwood populated the valleys below. A remarkable convergence of species in one small geographic space. The Smokies have the most complex topography in the Southern Appalachians. Character. Quirks in the landscape. The elevation ranges from 840 feet to more than 6,600 feet at Klingman's Dawn. Going from mountain base to mountain top is like traveling from Tennessee to Canada. 
Temperatures can vary by 20 degrees. And the highest elevations get as much as 80 inches of precipitation each year, 30 inches more than the lower valleys. Variations of climate and topography create many different environments within the landscape. From wetlands to grassy bogs, streams, meadows, cove hardwood, and spruce fir forests, each with its own unique plant and animal communities. There are more than 1,500 different flowering plants bursting with color each spring and summer. An enormous variety of amphibians flourish in these mountains. So many different kinds of salamanders live here that it's the greatest depth of diversity for these species known in the world. Species like Jordan's red cheek salamander, which is found only in the Smokies, and the mighty hellbender that grows two feet long. Salamanders are the most prolific predators in the park, outnumbering and outweighing all the black bears. Though it's no contest one on one. A hundred thirty different species of trees create the lush mosaic of the forest, each expressing unique patterns and shapes, sheltering, blanketing the landscape of the Smokies. About 25% of the park is undisturbed old growth forest, and trees at least 150 years old, and some more than 400 years old. This is the largest area of old growth left east of the Mississippi River. supported humans as well. Little is known about the first people to live in these mountains, but around a thousand years ago, the Cherokee people began weaving their culture into the land. Nature sustained their bodies and inspired their souls. They were part of all that surrounded them. Then, in 1838, that connection was tragically broken. The U.S. government marched most of the Cherokees west to what later became Oklahoma. Thousands died on the journey known as the Trail of Tears. Today, 